Hi everyone, I have October favourites for you today and I'm sorry that I didn't do a September favourites. I can't remember the last time I missed a monthly favourites but I was a little bit busy at the end of September getting married. <laughs> you would think that I'd have double the amount of products and stuff to talk about but actually in September it was such a write-off. I really wasn't like using anything. I wasn't trying anything new. I didn't want to break out. So actually this is kind of just October favourites and as usual I'm doing a mix of beauty, style, tech, random, food. I'm not even going to put categories in, I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to start with the beauty bits that I have sitting next to me here. This is by Estee Lauder and it's the Global Anti-Aging Wake Up Balm. To be honest, I don't really know much about it because this got sent to me and I kind of lost the press release. But I don't think you need to know much about it because I tried it and I, I loved it. It's like a balm but it's really illuminating and it really does like brighten up your skin. I tend to use this either instead of my moisturiser or I apply it kind of as a primer before I do my makeup. It really does like hydrate and moisturise the skin but it's got this amazing kind of pearly luminous finish to it. I think the name Wake Up Balm perfectly describes it so I've been using that pretty much every morning. This is from Way. It's this kind of new hair brand that everyone's talking about. I picked up a few of their products. Actually, I forgot it in the bathroom but I really like their shampoo. They have like a clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoos basically get rid of any product build up if your hair's feeling greasy but most of them strip your hair. So if you've had a Brazilian treatment or you've had colour, they're really quite damaging for your hair. Way do one that isn't damaging. It's got like no parabens or anything or sulfates in it. So that's amazing. I haven't really seen that in any other brand. So actually I'm really enjoying that shampoo. It's in my bathroom, but I'm also liking this hair oil. I tend to use this on wet hair. I find that when I use oil on dry hair, it just gets a bit greasy, but when my hair's wet and I've brushed it through, instead of using like a detangler or a cream, I use this and I just run it through my hair and I find that my hair dries naturally much nicer when it's got oil in it as well. It doesn't dry as frizzy. It dries a bit more like the bit more weight to it. And then once I straighten it, it's so smooth and this is definitely helping with the condition of my hair. Because of the change of weather, my hair is so dry. I literally went like that the other day and my hair just like pinged off, it just broke. So I have to be very careful with my hair in the colder months and I think this oil is really helping. The Tanya Burr lipstick, she's brought out a whole new range of lipsticks and most of the colours aren't probably to my taste. But there's one colour called Pink Cocoa. I'm wearing it today, I've been wearing it a lot recently. I really like it. The packaging's cute, it's just like a gold. It's pretty standard, but I saw my friend Lucy the other day apply her lipstick and use this as a mirror. Genius. That's changed my life because I lost my mirror for my handbag. So this is the colour of the lipstick, as you can see I'm wearing it now. It's just a very easy kind of pinky, but not too pink, pinky nude colour. This is the sort of colour I've been obsessed with for like six months. I haven't worn red in so long. So really like that. It's just like a creamy, easy to wear formula. She said for her first range of lipsticks, she didn't want to do like an ultra matte. So she just brought out the formula that she thought was easiest to wear. And I think it's really nice and comfortable on the lips. I also have a perfume here. This is from Jo Malone and it was one of my wedding fragrances. So I actually did a combination of two. And then we also had a scent for the barn, which was also a combination of two. I'm gonna do a whole blog post on it, which will explain all the scents that we used to kind of scent the venue and scent myself and Rich Water fragrance as well. They were all Jo Malone, but one of them that kind of ran through everything was Nutmeg and Ginger. So this is one of the fragrances that I wore and it was also, this was spritzed around the venue and spritzed on the linen. And it's so nice. I would never ever think to try it in store, Nutmeg, yeah, I don't really know what that smells like. Ginger, not really a fan of the smell of ginger. But it basically smells like a spa. Specifically a cow shed spa. If you've ever had like a treatment in cow shed, it really reminds me of that. It's so calming. It's so nice. I'm really glad that actually I tried a different scent for my wedding because now this will always remind me of the wedding. It's just, ugh, it's such a... It's kind of maybe slightly masculine which I like in a fragrance. And the other one I wore kind of lifted it and made it a bit more fruity and girly. Oh, it smells so good. Just go try it. it. Smells like a good looking man having a spa treatment, basically. The last beauty favorite is the Kylie Cosmetics Kai Shadow. And I'm sorry to any of you that hate the Kardashians. And I didn't want to put this in a favorites, but I really like it. It was a bitch to get hold of. Expensive, I had to pay even more when it arrived you know the deal. I wish they were easier to get hold of, but they're not. 
Anyway, this is what the palette looks like. I've done a whole blog post on it, so I will link that below. It's got more photos and details of what I think of it, but this is basically what it looks like. And it's got nine eyeshadows in it, a mix of a few kind of sheeny ones and mainly mattes, but really nice warm tone browns, which is what I like. And I've been wearing this in most of my videos recently. In this video, in my video that's coming up, an autumn one, and in my haul video, you guys all commented on my makeup and I'm wearing it today. It's just like really nice, they're really good quality. Some of them, I think that one's got like too much fallout for me, but as long as you just tap off the excess, I find they blend really easily. They look really nice on the lid. This one in the middle reminds me of MAC All That Glitters. I really like it. So sorry, but I actually really like that. I'm not gonna talk too much about this. This is my style favorite of the month, but I've got it coming up in detail in a video soon. It's from Reese. It's a gorgeous bluey gray suede jacket. I've been wearing this to death. It's beautiful, but I have an autumn styling video coming up where I talk about it more and I'll show like proper cutaways of me wearing it. So. Just wanted to mention that as a favorite. But moving on, this was a wedding gift from my sister Carly and my brother-in-law Ben, and it was really thoughtful and I absolutely love it. And I wanted to mention it because I think it's actually a really good idea for other people if you're looking to buy someone a wedding gift that's maybe like off list. It's risky to go off list because there's a reason why people make lists. But if you want to get something more sentimental, this was perfectly done. I feel like buying someone something in a frame is risky because if they hate it, they have to put it on their wall. But this was less risky. Basically, we had a lovely girl called Olivia Whitworth do all of our wedding stationery for us. Again, I have a blog post coming up all about that. But me and Olivia kind of created this design together. I told her what I wanted. She came back with sketches. It was like a back and forth. And this same design went through everything. The save the date, the invite the menus, the order of service. So what my sister did is she contacted Olivia. I have no idea how she even got her contact details. She probably like broke into my email. She contacted Olivia and got Olivia to make, using the same design from our invites, she got her to make a framed piece of the poem that Rich's sister read at our wedding, which was danced by Paul Hayward. It didn't particularly mean anything to us, but we asked her to do a reading. We suggested a few things and she actually found this and said that she loved it. So. We just wanted her to read something that she loved and she did it so well by the way. So I love this because it's a way of keeping the memory of the design and the invites without framing an invite which would be weird. So she got it framed in like a white Ikea frame and it looks like this, I hope you can see. So this beautiful ivy design with the hanging light bulbs and the hanging lantern, this was what we had pretty much on our invite. And Olivia, my sister, kind of did it to size and then Olivia hand wrote this beautiful poem here and I love it, I just love it. We've put it on our kind of little shelf thing in our lounge and it's such a nice memory of the wedding. So that is definitely a favorite this month. Oh, Olivia's great, her handwriting's so nice. My next favorite you might have seen on my Instagram. My Instagram, by the way, is at Lily Pebbles. It's our West Elm bar cart. We actually used that at the wedding. We had like a pimp your Prosecco stand where you could like add berries and cordials to your Prosecco. And we used this West Elm bar cart. So after the wedding, we bought it home and we've put it in the corner. We've definitely had to move the bin into a bit of an awkward position to get it there. Rich is like, this is the worst use of space ever, but I think it's a great use of space. We now have endless amounts of alcohol left over from the wedding that we've kind of put in the bar cart. We've made it look pretty and it just looks so nice. It's quite frustrating. Our flat is so small that we don't really have space for like decorative things, but we've made space for that because it's so beautiful and so worth having. So now we have a bar cart full of alcohol and we're not even particularly big drinkers. My next favorite I don't actually have with me because I ate them all, but you may have seen in my vlog, if not, I'll put in the footage now, the Panda Natural Licorice. You can get these in most like health food stores, Whole Foods, there's like a random health food store near me that does them. I first discovered them because my sister gives them to her, to my nephew. I think a lot of kids get them because they're kind of like sweets, but they're not particularly bad for you. There's like, they're unsweetened, there's no nasties in there. And I really enjoy snacking on them. I hate black licorice, but I like red licorice and the raspberry and strawberry flavors of the Panda ones are really nice. So you just get like a stick of licorice and those have been my favorite snack over the month. I got a new phone. This is the iPhone 7 Plus. I don't actually normally get that excited about new phones, but I woke up really early and saw the hype and I was so tired that I just ordered myself without even thinking about it. So it came <laughs> and actually I really like it. I got it in the gold. I haven't got a case yet, which is making me a bit nervous. I just can't decide on a case because I thought I was gonna get the battery pack that Apple do. They don't do it for the plus and I'm gutted because I love that battery pack. So I'm trying to decide what case to get and hoping I don't drop my phone in the meantime. But yeah, it's really nice. I've got a little picture of me and Rich there. 
getting married. I've put on my eye ring on the back and I actually got a new eye ring. I got a marble one from Amazon. They kind of do them in all different finishes really. So I got a nice marble one and this helps because I'm not used to the, the size of the i7, the 7 plus. This actually really helps like me hold it better and have like a stronger grip on it. I love this eye ring thing. But yeah, I haven't noticed that much of a difference. I definitely love having the big screen. Like when I'm watching videos or looking at Instagrams, it's so nice to have the big screen. I don't think I would go back to the small iPhone. I'm really happy with the Plus. The camera quality is really good. I think what made me want the Plus is the two cameras. And to be honest, I don't really use Zoom that much. I feel like it also loses its quality, but the camera quality is amazing on the 7. The camera's great and the size is great. But I, so I am really enjoying that. There are two things on TV that I've been loving. We just finished Narcos season two. It was so good. I would really recommend it. I know that some people struggle with the subtitles, but you do get used to it. The only problem is you can't really do anything else whilst watching it. Like I was making dinner and Rich had to read out the subtitles to me and he was trying to do it in a Colombian accent. It was quite hilarious, but I just thought it was so good. We really enjoyed it. It was so like gripping. We just wanted to keep watching the next one straight away. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more. It finished on like a little bit of a cliffhanger. So that's been great. I've also loved Mission Selfie, which is a series that was made by Ben Brown and Steve Booker, who are friends of mine and YouTubers. They kind of did it with a lot of friends of theirs who produced it and filmed it. I think at the time they didn't know what they were gonna do with it, but they sold it to the BBC and it's on iPlayer and it's brilliant. It's not too dissimilar from watching a YouTube video. It's not like over highly produced or anything. Basically the idea of Mission Selfie is that they want to encourage people, instead of taking photos of themselves, to turn the camera around, look at what you're looking at and just experience life, which I completely agree with and it's so important to me, which is why whenever I do fancy videos, I'm never in them because I love looking through the lens and looking at things. and I don't want it to be all about me. And they go to like a different place around the world. I, I think there's five episodes so far, I've watched all of them. And I finished watching it just feeling so inspired that I wanna, like I've already booked into like the Jessup's level two photography course because it makes me wanna go out and take photos of beautiful things and learn how to use my camera better. And it makes me wanna travel and experience life. And I think it's great. I think Ben and Steve did such a good job. So that's on iPlayer if you wanna watch it. So those are all my October favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and always leaving lovely comments. I will see you guys soon. Bye.